Hello, hello everyone and welcome to the forexbot.com live analysis on Australian versus Swiss franc. This is actually going to be the idea for the beginning of this week. Before we get started, just to remind you, all the information presented in this video is purely for educational purpose only, should not be considered as a financial advice. As usual, before we start with our weekly setup, uh, let's get back to our previous setups just to see what's actually happened. Now, on the gold, guys, we were expecting uh, the target of 1669 as a target, 1670 approximately. And um, as I said, there will be another buying opportunity because we haven't reached the target. As you can see, price is moving upwards and this will be the key resistance which should show whether the gold will be actually moving much higher or it will be you know, bouncing and going down. Now on the pound versus Australian dollar, we are expecting the strong move down as I said before, still valid guys, because on the daily we are kind of holding this all area, there is a lot of uh, volatility going on, I, I do expect a very strong pullback still but there there are no ideas on on this uh, currency pair we just expecting it and uh, the reason I'm actually showing it is because this is the strength of the Australian dollar actually that I am expecting and this is also the reason why uh, the previous week uh, we gave Australian dollar versus uh, Japanese yen this was our setup this is what we expect actually for the target to move up towards 69.60 area to close this gap on the one hour chart if you remember guys we were waiting sorry on the 15 minute chart we were waiting for the breakout of these two moving averages as a signal so this has happened right there uh, today and this would have been the buy signal so if you are on the trade uh, good for you but uh, it should be moving much higher overall some consolidation here can be expected as well we can even return back to to retest the moving averages but overall the trend is bullish and we expect this scenario as per the daily chart like this now for today's analysis it's australian versus swiss franc let's have a look now i have applied fibonacci to the last strong correction to the upside before we had this massive massive drop in price as you can see 427.2 fibs has reached uh, the price has reached this level and rejected this was a pretty clean bounce which is very good for a potential strong correction and this was at 0 0.5342 now the nearest resistance levels are 227.2 and 161.8 FIPS. These are the levels of potential correction. This is a weekly chart, guys, so this is quite a lot. Uh, it is still 100 pips to go on the weekly chart. Well, 100 pips towards first target and uh, 300 pips towards the second target. Now, let's move on to the four hour chart. This is also very interesting. We have applied FIPS to this wave uh the last wave down strong wave what we can see is the support formed at 38.2 price broke above this resistance although it found uh, the next resistance at 50 percent fips and it broke it also so this resistance became the support and we can see price actually rejecting it quite nicely few times this area becomes a very strong support and potential buying opportunity is already there now as an upside target remember our target on the um, on the weekly chart is 60 50 and 62 80 areas now here is 62 40 and 62 90 so it really corresponds to these fips on these charts which is very good and these are the two targets look at how uh, this target corresponds all, also with the two moving average exponential and simple 200 moving average so this is will be the key area of resistance for australian versus swiss franc if it's broken we can expect price to move towards 
the second target. Now, as long as this support holds, guys, this is very important. If there will be a daily close below this uh, low produced here at 58.32, this bullish forecast will be invalidated and can be used actually for the exit signal. Daily close below this price will invalidate. But so far it looks bullish and I'm going to move on to the one hour chart. This is the lowest time frame we have. Now on the one hour chart, what happening? We have this uptrend. The price has rejected the, the uptrend trend line and it rejected at the same time 200 exponential moving average where price closed right at this indicator. Now this area immediately became the support and you can see price attempted to, uh, to, to uh, break it uh, at one occasion, but it actually rejected the simple moving average 200 period. Then we had a massive support here formed and price once again went up. Extremely good, but also look at this. This is a rejection of both moving averages simple and exponential. This is extremely good. Now, the entry point would have been around this price upon the breakout of this high. And this is where uh, Australian versus Swiss franc can retrace. And this is the price that should be used for the entry point. Overall, the good entry point lies between the 59.00 and 59.40 because we at the same time broke the uptrend channel. You can see the ascending channel, there was a breakout also confirming the uptrend, which is very nice. And we can expect price to actually move higher from this point onwards. Some consolidation can take place, which will provide some buying opportunities. And um, currently it seems like 59 psychological support is extremely good to go long on this trade. But remember, daily break and close below 58.33 would invalidate this. So overall, the area of buying 59 to 59.40, this is the buying area. And our targets obviously are 60.50 area and 62.80 areas. Thank you all for watching. I will update you throughout this week or how we are doing and should be uh, moving with the next analysis quite soon this week. So stay tuned for update. Don't forget to put the likes and subscribe for our next trade ideas. Trade safe and we will continue very soon.